Hello everyone, it is Cryptograns who never uploads YouTube videos anymore. Back with another Unity Idol game tutorial video. This is episode 4.1 and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to toggle between menus and we're going to make a set like a little setting screen just an example and this will set us up for our next episode 4.2 which will be on making an export and import system for our save system. If you find this video helpful make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. Comment your feedback, questions, and any suggestions below. And also don't forget to turn on the bell for future notifications. But anyways let's just hop right into it. So I have done um, a little bit of work here. Basically what I've done is I have created uh, an empty game object which stretches to the entire screen as you can see in the rec transform. I have created a settings screen. This will be for our settings and a settings button, which I have anchored to the top left corner. I have put everything inside of the home screen and our settings screen is empty. I'm actually gonna take this background outside because it's just gonna remain. But if you, in case you wanted multiple backgrounds, you can do that. But so yes, we have everything inside of the home screen and then we also have a settings screen, which currently has nothing as you can see. So our goal is to be able to click this settings button and it's going to switch between the home screen and the settings screen. So what we're going to do is head to our assets and we're going to open up our navigation script. Okay, so currently we only have one method in here, which is the switch upgrades. We're actually going to be doing something very similar to this, but we're just making it for our settings instead. So I'm going to close this, um, which most IDEs you can. You can just uh, click this little minus symbol. It just closes this method just to make things uh, look cleaner. But once um, Rider finally loads everything, which it's taking forever, Okay, so now we can finally do this. So we're gonna create two game objects and that will be the home screen and the settings screen. After that, we're going to create a public void method. Now I'm just gonna call that navigate. And we're gonna take in a string parameter called location. So inside of this method, we want to turn both the home screen and the settings screen off. And I have mentioned this in the past, but since this is a game object, you can just do dot set active. If this was an image, you would have to do um, dot game object dot set active. Okay, so we set both of these screens to false and we're going to determine which one we want to set to true. So inside of the switch statement, we're going to start with our home and all this is gonna do is just make the home screen appear and we don't forget to break it and we're gonna do the same thing for settings. Okay, so this is all we need to do here. So now we can switch between the home screen and the settings screen. Okay, so first we're going to uh, assign the settings button so don't forget to add um, a button component to this image, which is for me, that's just what I had. I haven't added the button component. Click the plus, get our navigation script, drag it into the box, go to no function, navigation, and then select navigate. So this will open up the settings. So we're gonna put settings in here. And we also need a button for our, um, our settings screen. And we're going to change settings to home because we're going from settings to home. So now when we click this, it's gonna turn this off and it's going to turn this one on. So I don't have anything in settings yet because we're going to be doing that in the next episode. So I'm just going to place just a random text just to show that we actually are switching between the two. Actually, I'm just going to add a button. Just a big old button, even though it's not going to do anything, just like that. Next, I want to go to our navigation tab and we need to assign our home and settings screen. So I'm just going to drag the home screen into the home screen slot and settings into the settings slot. Great, so let's try it. So settings, cool. Back, settings, back, settings, back, settings, back. Okay, so we get the point. So really this is expandable. You can do whatever you want here. You can add other button, um, other buttons in here, which we are going to do eventually. We're gonna add like prestige. We're gonna add achievements probably. We're gonna do a bunch of other stuff and you can just throw that right here. And you can expand this navigate method to bigger screens like this. So you see we have the home screen and the settings screen, right? But then we also have the switch upgrades, which is for smaller things like the click production and generator upgrades, if that makes sense. So I just wanted to introduce that. I know it's a very easy and short video, but I just wanted to get that set up just so you know where we're at and so we can start the import export video, which will be again 4.2 next episode. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you're new around here, click the join button if you want to support the channel or check out my Patreon in the description below. And don't forget to turn on the bell for future notifications of videos and live streams. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching and have a great day or night. See ya.